Uh, Comp binge it's a shun. Did I do that? I don't know if I did. Hello, this is Streaming Service Algorithm. You seem to enjoy this movie that can be enjoyed by anyone of any age because you liked it. May we also recommend this media property that can only literally be enjoyed by kids and no one else? I just watched Hercules and Disney Plus recommended to me Mickey House Clubhouse. That's... Those are two very different genres! When you actually have to do things. Oh. I'm cringe, but I'm free. I'm cringe, but I'm free. I'm cringe, but I'm free. But God, am I cringe! I'm not a religious person. But if you're out there... Giant rat that makes all the rules. Yeah, whose idea was it to put this thing in New Vegas? The, the, the genuine question. Mine, because it kicks ass. Wait, why does that name seem familiar? Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, he's the guy who made New Vegas. Oh. If you're working a full-time job, you should be able to afford to live on your own and have access to food and transportation. I'm going to be real with you, brother. Everyone deserves this. Not just people working 40 hours a week. I will never quite understand the people that th assume food, getting around, and having just some sort of roof over your head is a privilege and not a right. I keep seeing people talk about their boyfriends slash husbands weaponizing incompetence to avoid grocery shopping or purposely fucking it up. M mine doesn't do that. He'll shop on his own prerogative like an actually functional adult, and his issue is he occasionally brings home a cursed item like this. What is that? Cup noodles, who made this? Why did you do it? Are you okay? Do we need to call somebody? You know, for being a shadow and two dandelions, that is surprisingly an unnerving image. It seems like it should be a teaser for Good Omens 3. What do you think, Neil Gaiman? One man's hyperfixation is another man's blocked tag. It's actually a good way of putting it. Born to use switches and knobs arranged in a cockpit, each one firing a tactile sensation as you flick it and the mech you're in lurches into action, forced to use touch screens at your desk. <laughs> I'm gonna get more lashes today! Repentant Catholics in the 14th century be like, DELETE THIS OFF MY POST! Yeah, I deleted gender to free up space in my mind for video game music. Aw oh, man, that really does get a lot of the bloatware, doesn't it? You see, the real problem with necromancy is all these necromancers are pursuing immortality instead of dying, so all the good necromancer names are taken for, like, centuries at a time. The other day, I met a guy who called himself Skull James. Cower before the might of FEMA Frank. Fuck off, FEMA Frank. Your bone magic sucks shit, and we all know it. Wait till they meet Clavicle Clive. By the way, the majority of your life will be lived as an adult. Yeah, I don't make the rules... Go have fun in your 40s or 70s or whatever. No one expects you to accomplish everything at 17 or 27. You got time. And in the meantime, get get some life experience. It'll pay off. Why are you guys trying to do end game shit at level 18? You, it's not, it's not, you're not ready for that. Just stop it. Pirate captain that's always asking his crew whether they hate him or not. Pirate captain sitting on the edge of a plank like, You guys probably want a mutiny anyways. I should just walk off and save everyone the trouble. Is this not One Piece? I feel like Luffy seems like the kind of character who would ask this question all the time. Sir, I'm I'm very sorry for accidentally putting a price on your son's head, said the nervous store clerk to the mob boss. Yeah, he's kind of a putz anyway. Have fun. Oh my god, Austin, hi! Ooh, yucky. Is this Anon hate reduced to its most basic form? Yes. Oh fuck! This is a really good hill, I gotta die on this. Rich people seeing Mount Everest. Hey, hey you old guy. Guy there watching this video right now probably eating some food. Because we all gotta eat food while we watch YouTube videos. I don't know, that's a rule. Did you get your lemon plush yet? It's right there. It's waiting for you. I know you want it. You know you want that guy. Look at him. Look how squishy it is. You could, you could hold him with both your hands and just go... Writing prompt. You have one superpower. The ability to know, without fail, what the truth is to any asked question. You planned to help the world as a superhero. 
It took you only six hours for the government to declare you public enemy number one and the most deadly supervillain alive. And your book will be called The Truth Hurts. You know how sometimes you have a crush and a romantic? No, I don't. Why? Why did you say a romantic like it's a Fallout skill check? It could be. Me looking at a thriving moss colony after a rainstorm. Oh, to be a thriving moss colony. And I thought you couldn't get any hotter. All right, I'm not saying I'm definitely an NPC, but if I am a protagonist, the game I'm starring in is probably free to play. You know, it makes sense. I can only do something useful once every few hours. Ads are everywhere. The pacing seems designed to be deliberately frustrating. And a lot of the hassles would go away if I had a ton of money. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. Life is just a free-to-play video game. Imagine if Toby Fox never released Deltarune until every single chapter was finished. Like, didn't even hint at the idea of such a game would exist, even. We'd be like, man, I love Undertale. I wish Toby would, like, make something else. For years upon years, and then out of nowhere, Toby Fox breaks into your house, bangs pots and pans to wake you up, and goes, You're never gonna believe this. If you use plenty of capital letters, bold and italics, you can't be wrong, and the internet is your oyster to shout whatever you want at. The moon has flesh. Look, you guys, I'm not, I know what you're thinking. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hang out. I forgot I have mimic human-like behavior. I mean, if you just want to loom in the corner like some kind of creature, that's cool. We just don't want you getting left out. Baby girl, you won't believe the amount of popular things I don't know. <laughs> like, what the fuck is a Jojo Siwa? You're weirdly obsessed with finding meaning. Yeah, what'd you mean by this? Oh, I'm not flirty or seductive. I'm... My friends have buttons I can press that make them giddy and flustered. And I'm a bitch who stims by pressing buttons. Am I a dog or a cat person? I don't know, man. Are you an inhale or exhale person? Shut the fuck up and hand me a damn animal so I can talk in a weird voice in it. Every post on Reddit is like, my wife left me, so I spent $100,000 on a new man cave. And there's always a stormtrooper of some kind in the room. I've seen this happen so often on Reddit that I now associate stormtroopers in the entire Star Wars franchise with divorce. May divorce be with you. Gamer boyfriend yells, God damn it, from the other room and throws his headset and you walk in all, what's wrong, babe? And he's playing a story-driven indie game. Sees friend make new OC, runs and leaps over fence. I have to greet my new godchild! <sighs> Start song over because I was enjoying it hard enough. The guy who fell asleep during a 24-hour marathon playing Majora's Mask will always be fucking hilarious. The moon! It's falling! Ready the moon! Okay, okay, wait. You teach combat to children. Oh, when you put it like that, it sounds weird. It is weird. Why would you do that? Well, to teach them courage, responsibility, respect, and to be a good sport. Well, it's knowing self-defense ain't a bad thing, right? Well, I... I I guess not. Wait. A good sport? You made sport out of the combat! <laughs> what, what, what was that? Just removed watching MMA from our plan to introduce you to human culture. Human, one of your crew has been introducing herself by referring to herself as a Capricorn? Is that a species of human I should know about? Oh, no, 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 no. She was just introducing herself by her zodiac sign. See, back in ancient civilization... I'm going to stop you right there, human. This human is practicing something terribly outdated and likely a byproduct of ancient misunderstanding. People basically use the month they were born to determine their futures. Were those predictions accurate? Well, they're vague and subject to confirmation biases. Then why does she still use it? If I knew the answer, I'd tell you. And why give the month such a strange name? No, not the month so much as that. The periods were denoted by constellations. Patterns of stars we found in the sky that look like things, which we named. And this Capricorn creature is a goat with a fish's rear end. What human hallucinated? Oh, rude! How dare you, human? Why did, why did you scold the object? I cannot understand you. You know, 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, no, I know, it's just it's just a thing I do. A lot of humans do that. Should I ask why? Well, it's nothing bad. We just like to joke a little, and instead of berating ourselves, we jokingly berate the object. It makes it feel like it's less our fault, and we can have a bit of a laugh while we pick it up and put it back. Huh. That is an unusual tactic. Excuse you. <laughs> I think I understand you humans just a bit more. Human. What? What is this device? Oh, it's a... It's a gun we made that shoots giant metal beams at extremely high velocity by using magnets to spin it so fast it breaks things. Huh. I didn't know your species developed countermeasures against the giant space worms. Giant what now? Human, could you enlighten me on a bothersome question? Yeah, what's up? How come you have yet to reach further parts of the solar system you habit within? Well, you see, we have yet to invent the technology to personally level such distances to save time and resources. Surely your kind is doing everything it can to reach these goals, yes? Some of us are. Some? Your species is close to depleting your celestial body of resources! Where have these resources gone to, if not for inventing Planet Traversal? <sighs> it's for militaristic efforts, isn't it? Yeah... Human? Yeah, what are you consuming? Macrofish. Cheese? Wait, isn't that made of this dairy? Yeah? I thought you could not process this! Oh, gosh, the towers be damned! I want a look at cheese! How have you survived this long? Uh, I, I'm sorry, human Zachary. I need to say it myself so it seems a bit more clear. Um, okay, I guess. So not only did the bomb explode. Yes. But the scientist was caught in the explosion. Yes. And he didn't die. Yes. Instead, he became this massive, muscle-bound primitive only coming out when expressing emotion. Yeah. What? Human Mark, what is a parking lot? Is this some kind of arena? No. It's a place where we park our cars. Why, why would you think it's an arena? Because Human Todd just challenged me to fight in one and belonging to someone named a Denny. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, it is an arena. Good luck with that fight. Uh, what, what, what? All right, so let me get this straight. Go on, I'm ready to explain. Your kind has made wondrous types of food that has little to no need for additional flavors, correct? Yes. And yet many other humans decided it wasn't enough and created these condiments for anything food-related. Also, yes. To the point where many of your kind essentially drown out the flavor of the original item with much more of these items. What's your point? You humans never seem to stop astounding me with how much abuse you put into your body. That being said, would you like some hot dog with your ketchup? You know, going through the Apollo tag is crazy because you can go from like Percy Jackson to Hades games to actual worship to the moon landing. Sometimes I think you see a lawyer do it almost up and down. Can a blue and red dragon truly be friends? Yes, for together we make Orpal. This is incredible information, really. You know, Luke Skywalker is the closest a male character can get to being a tomboy. I, I don't... I'm... I'm okay. I turned around for a brief second, thought my cat was flying away when I was gardening. <laughs> Paying a little visit to a beloved mutual's blog after not seeing them on a dash for a while. As if I'm dropping by their cottage with some biscuits and jam in a wicker basket. Dear friend, are you ill? The gathering wasn't as lively without you. I bought your cheeses. Prophecy class canceled due to foreseen circumstances. Uh oh. Oh no. All right, amazing digital circus fans. Is he acting out of character or did you get too attached to a headcanon? Be honest. Bro, stop talking about yearning. Go make mistakes and learn. Gosh, okay. Child support. Oh, 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 man, do, do, do. Okay, how do I come out to my parents' as bye? You just did, son. We still love you. Damn, we are the same age, Pucky, but after coming out to my parents and them not taking well, this was nice. Thanks, fam. I love you, my same age son. 
take him to the stump of his favorite childhood tree. You monster! Duo, how do I be normal? I'm a grown man pretending to be an owl on the internet. I do not know. While you were studying girls, I was kissing the blade. Who's Leos? <laughs> we got him, Mars. Dandelions deserve more respect than they get. You say weeds, I say widespread non-native edible plant and early blooming pollinator resource that is not considered invasive because it behaves politely and does not cause deleterious ecological consequences. The dandelions ain't gonna fuck you, bro. They have and they will. So, so when are we gonna bring back occupational surnames, eh? Astronaut, animator, hacker. Come on now, I want more cool surnames. We could literally change our names whenever. Go fantastical with it. Pendragon, Gore Striker, the list goes on. All right, chat, you heard him. Give us some fun new surnames. Let's go. I'm not badass. I'm sad ass. I cry about everything. <laughs> Do not buy milk at the dark grocery store. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I go out of my way to shop at the dark grocery store. It's the vibes. The disembodied child's voice crying for their mother, Nagarth, the Night Stalker, Stephen, the Night Stalker. Previous tag is too good not to save. Liminal spaces, minimal prices. You know, not enough fantasy settings talk about street food. Like, come on! There was street food in the ancient times. Basically every culture. Let me see what weird snacks you could buy off a guy in an alleyway. Christians, if you die and Anubis is waiting for you instead of Jesus, what would you say? Yo, sick fursuit, cheesy boy. Yeah, you definitely, you definitely want to make a lighthearted remark. Uh... Hey, champ. I hope this picture of a Quetzal makes your day at least a little bit better. <gasps> I'm going to pet the crap out of that bird. Lying in bed for an hour and a half after waking up should not pass time, in my opinion. Couldn't be me, no. <laughs> hey, what's today's criminology class on? Cannibalism. <gasps> a Hannibal lecture. God. Dang it. The social attitude regarding age is consistently getting weirder. You're not pushing 30, you're just in your late 20s. 30s is not old, and neither is 40s while I'm at it. Growing older is an enormous privilege, and displaying that age is a gorgeous component of life. Spending your days trying to reverse that grace breeds an eternally wasted life. May your pain medications always kick in right after you take them. May your compression garments always slip on your body with ease. May you always find your footing when you walk. May you always wake up with energy and zest. And may your sinuses always be clear. May your sinuses always be clear has to be the best blessing of all time. <laughs> Thanks, man. Why did God create the appendix? So that surgeons don't go hungry. A surgeon. I did not interpret this the way it was probably intended. Oh, paying them. Oh, 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 oh. I'm dumb. Post that joke about how furry artists make bank and so OP is going to start drawing dog. People are so annoying like, babe, babe, babe. You don't have it in you. You don't have the gumption to draw bad furry art until you get noticed. You don't have the drive or the respect for the craft. You will fail. Free, not haunted. Sounds exactly like something a haunted trunk would say. It's definitely a mimic, but there's really only one way to find out. Get the elf. My talents include listening to the same song for hours on end without getting bored. Staying in bed for as long as possible and only being a little late. Getting dizzy when I stand up. And petting cats. I can't believe Revenge of the Sith takes place over four days. It's the worst week of Obi-Wan's life, worst week of Padme's life, worst week of Yoda's life. Somewhere in the bottom 50 for Anakin. Anakin's worst is when he went to the desert and kept falling on his face for about a week. Appearing in so many Prim Seymour videos has cursed me with me mentally reading some of my posts in his voice. This is your fault, Clickstuck! <laughs> and they did it again. 
Dude, I'm serious. I don't know what happened, but the city turned my commute into a Metroidvania. Yeah, I don't know why. All I know is, is I couldn't progress down the interstate to get a double jump power up from the abandoned belfry. Yeah, I was an hour and a half late to work. I, I, it just totally, totally happened, I swear. Hello, character who is desperate to be a good person. I want to play a game. In front of you is the one person you will never be able to save. You have the rest of your life to make peace with this. There are no defined repercussions if you fail. But we both know you're going to attempt to win regardless. Your time starts now. Easily the scariest trap jigsaw I've ever made. I love that old-timey phrase, YOU FORGET YOURSELF! Bro, that was like, so impolite. Like, do you even know who you are, Aaron? Being mutuals isn't enough. We need to eat breakfast in the garden together. Fuck. We left the back door open last night and the whole kitchen got out. Oh look, some of it came back. Let that... Let the... Let <laughs> that sink in! Grabs your hand. You've had enough plot and exposition and character development lately. I'm taking you to the beach episode. And then the beach episode is Danganronpa. I'm sorry, but did you mean... Doomsday Getaway by hit video game Dragalius last... Oh, it's cancelled. It's literally bedtime. Sleepy bars, snooze the time. We're talking lights out, tucked in, snug as a bug in a rug. You wouldn't believe the type of shit I'm on. Melatonin. Sweet dreams. Wait, fish. Take this with you. It'll bring you comfort. And you can get one right now on Big Ship. This is the last seven days for it. Go get it, buddy. Convert your vision to 144p. Give me my glasses, big jerk. You spend so much time trying to make yourself more palatable that in the end, you taste bland. Forgettable. Do you remember what you were supposed to taste like? Tell me, Will. This is a very awkward, awkward silence. I don't know what else to say. Um, like, comment, and subscribe? Question mark. Put the Spinosaurus in the bottom corner and have never addressed it. Yes. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Oh, I love it. And then I'm probably gonna have to clip this so, like, people can understand. Why the fuck is this in the corner?